Hey, what's going on guys? It's Nistro here. And so last week I uploaded a video about the new Six Samurai support. I know it came out of nowhere. I was going to focus my time and attention towards the content I was going to make towards more towards the summer. But with the new Six Samurai support being revealed and how much Six Samurai meant to me, I figured it was a good time to make a little combo video and just see what was possible with the deck. In that video, I got a comment asking to see what combos uh, the deck could do without Seriusia, and that kind of tickled my brain a bit, and I even took it a step further because I'm a little paranoid that Gateway might get hit with this new support if this new support starts doing well post Rage of the Abyss. I wanted to ask myself, what if Gateway and Seriusia were not cards? How could Six Samurai cope in their combo lines without cards like Gateway or Seriusia? And I think I found two cards that could be really decent replacements for Gateway and Seriusia, but there's a catch. Before I tell you what it is, I might as well just show you. So this is basically the same hand we started with in our very first FTK combo. Anarchist Monk, Instructor, Dojo, plus a discard for the Battle Shogun. I know it was DB, I didn't show the card getting discarded and people were on my ass for that as if they couldn't as if I didn't say multiple times it's a 2.5 or 3.5 card combo, but is what it is, right? So we normal summon the instructor, special mount the Ionarchus Monk. And it's going to start the same way. We're going to be adding our double strike uh, or double assault, uh, our asceticism, and we're going to be adding a second dojo this time. Right, so if we're not using Gateway, we are crutching heavily on Dojo, and Dojo being searchable by Battle Shogun seems pretty fine. So now we can resolve Dojos, resolve Asceticism since there are no counters on Battle Shogun yet. We can go for Yuriza. Now we can go for Double Assault to bring back our Anarchist Monk. At this point, we can get Nibbed. So now we're going into our Klesha Shien, and Klesha Shien can get us a Six Samurai from deck. So we're going to search another instructor, we're going to go Dojo to summon out Genba. We're going to go both Dojos to summon out Anishi. So we, we had to use the first Dojo preemptively so that the second one can get to four counters so that we could summon Anishi. So now we're going to go into Summon Sorceress. And so this is why I couldn't, I didn't want to spoil what two cards they were. One of the two cards I think that could really help Six Samurai get back or could cope without the need of gateway is summon sorceress and there's multiple reasons why first off is because it's very easy to summon off of battle shogun plus any other six samurai secondly because it puts a monster on your opponent's field which is going to come up in a second and thirdly it gets to summon any six samurai from deck but you're locked into warrior for the rest of the turn newsflash being locked into warrior not the worst deal when sp load knight exists when clash is a warrior uh normal shien's a warrior um, so there's a lot of ways so you, we can like deal with this, right? So we're going to summon out our own instructor and then we get to go for Anishi here and Anishi gets to bounce the instructor from our opponent's field back to our hand. So essentially we get to resolve summon sorcerers for free if we go into Anishi after. Now we're going to banish the regular legendary six samurai Anishi from our graveyard to resolve synchro Anishi's effect. Now we can special summon out Instructor, and we can synchro into something like Visus and Ritara. And Ritara can then trigger, and so can the Visus. So we can go into reframing and also get back our Anishi. If you really wanted to, you could banish the Klesha Shien to resolve Anishi and then summon back the Shien once Anishi leaves field. That is also an option, but yeah. We get to go SP Little Knight here. We get to go Shien here, we get to go Reframing and Anishi, that is four interruptions. Now, off of four cards from hand, that doesn't seem too good, but this is a lot more potent than you may think, right? Uh, we have the follow-up with the Double Assault in Graveyard, so we get to start next turn pretty well. Um, Anishi gets to bounce monsters back to hand, SP gets to banish, Shien gets to negate, and Reframing gets to uh, negate any spell or trap, or, or any card effect in general. This doesn't look too crazy but that's mostly because without dojo it's really hard to generate resources so i guess the question is is like if this is the best that we can thing that we can get without dojo which i don't think it's the best thing that we can do but i definitely think that it's pretty up there um in terms of what we can do especially when summon sorceress limits us to warriors for the turn 
what other card could potentially save us or potentially make up for the for the lack of gateway and the lack of Sarayusha? And I guess by the terror top, you guys can probably guess what card it, it is. It's MX Saber Invoker. This card will single-handedly make Six Samurai so much stronger. So you see how we just had to use four cards from in our opening hand to make our last combo. This combo will make the same number of interactions off of just two cards. So now we're going to use Invoker to summon out Kizaru. And yes, I did rip Kizaru a new one in my last video because I thought Kizaru had no purpose in the Six Samurai deck as it was, but if MX Saber Invoker comes out, Kizaru is going to be one of the best extenders for the deck. It's st I still wouldn't consider it a starter because you would still need to draw it in conjunction with Kageki or in conjunction with so much, it won't get a lot off of it, but playing a single copy that you can summon from deck seems to be a really good idea for starting your turn with it. So now Kizaru gets to search any Six Samurai that is not an Earth Monster. So the issue with Kizaru normally with Gateway is that by the time you get to summon Kizaru, you probably already have like a Klesha Six Samurai Shien on field to play around hand traps, and in that way you cannot search to Anarchist Monk. But by going through the line this way, we actually get to search Hatsume to use our normal summon on it, because we haven't normal summoned yet. And then we're going to get to revive Kizaru another time so that we can uh, then search the Anarchist Monk. So don't worry, it's, it's all gonna come into play. So we go Battle Shogun, drop, search Dojo, activate Dojo, normal Hatsume, 1-1, one, one. Dojo's gonna summon out Fuma, go into a second Battle Shogun so that we can banish both the Battle Shogun number one and the Fuma to revive the Kizaru. Now Kizaru gets to resolve and still get us for the Anarchist Monk because we do not control a Dark Six Samurai monster. Anarchist Monk can summon, Synchro into Klesha Shien. Now Anarchist Monk will trigger to search Cunning. Klesha will search uh, Instructor. We can Synchro into our Klesha uh, Anishi. We can then resolve Cunning of the Six Samurai, send Anishi, summon back the Kizaru. And now Kizaru can trigger and Anishi can trigger, so we can summon back Fuma here. We'll also be able to add Anishi because we don't control a light type six samurai. And the six samurai double assault does actually summon from hand as well as from graveyard. So now we're gonna synchro into legendary six samurai Shien, the regular one. And this doesn't seem like a big board because it's only our two Shiens plus Battle Shogun plus a quick play spell. But I need you guys to realize something, is that we probably won't be summoning anything from Graveyard because Anishi is only on Synchro Summon and not on Special Summon. But the regular Legendary Six Samurai Anishi, you could use it, you could summon it off of the uh, Double Assault while simultaneously, since we control two or more Six Samurais, Book of Mooning a monster your opponent controls with 2,000 or less attack. So let's say they they summon a monster with 2,000 or less attack, like let's say they summon like Snake Eye Ash or something, right? You can resolve Double Assault, which will allow you to Book of Moon the Snake Eye Ash and summon out Anishi. And then Anishi, you know, has a quick effect to banish two to bounce any monster on field back to hand. On top of a monster negation and a spell of trap negation, off of just two cards from hand, considering that we'll have three more, and that we'll probably be able to extend into SP, Appalooza, and the works, this seems like a pretty good situation. This is an argument for playing Kizaru in your list, assuming that Gateway gets banned. This, I think, is, is the direction that Six Samurai could take. Now, is this the best way to play Six Samurai? No, as long as Gateway exists, we should use and abuse Gateway. I've heard some people saying that they don't even think Gateway is going to get hit. Gateway may go up in numbers rather than down. We don't know. Six Samurai being a deck that is like a custom combo, access to multiple FTKs, insane amount of resource loops, and the only real burden or barrier to that is what hand traps you draw. I think it now that they have a monster effect negation, I think it is fair to say that this deck may need to get checked in the future. So I'm just thinking ahead. I love Six Samurai and I want to stick around with this deck. So I want to think a little bit more outside the box to figure out what lines are possible without Gateway of the Six. A little bit of a shorter video as I prepare for the summer, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any other ideas about potential lines or combos without using Gateway, 
please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I don't care how many cards it takes, we can make it consistent. Six Samurai has a lot of searchers, a lot of inputs into its engine, and I think we can make some of these more fringe strategies work if we keep it tight and we keep it right. This has been your boy Nisho here, signing out.